Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Whispering Roots TV. For today's video, we are making a quick pasta salad. And the focus of this video is to teach you how to make a dressing for a salad. You can use it on a pasta salad or like a bean salad or any kind of salad, really, even on mixed greens. So let me tell you what all we have for ingredients today and what we, what we will be using. We have uh, whole wheat rotini pasta noodles, red wine vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some artichokes, fresh asparagus, salt, pepper, um, and the artichokes are already strained out right over here. Um, then we have cherry tomatoes that we've cut in half. We have some cotija cheese that we've also kind of crumbled up a little bit. You can use any kind of cheese for this recipe that you prefer. We're using cotija because that's what we have. This is a great recipe to kind of help you clean out your refrigerator and use items that you have in there because if they're in your fridge, more likely than not, you like those ingredients. So just feel free to use them up and especially in your veggie you know, drawer in your refrigerator, pull out other bell peppers, whatever you want to do. This is just a kind of a guide or a you know, framework, if you will. Then we also have some parsley and a little bit of dill in there that we have chopped up and minced garlic and lemon juice. And that is all that we will need for our recipe today. So let's take For our vinaigrette, we're gonna take three tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of, what is this, Dijon mustard. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna be the base of our vinaigrette. And then we're gonna slowly pour in a quarter cup of olive oil. A vinaigrette is basically just oil and vinegar, and there are a lot of different ratios and people appreciate different things. I personally prefer equal parts minimum of vinegar or acid to oil, and this recipe actually calls for a little bit more um, acid than oil, so again, this is just framework. You guys can make it your own at home, and actually you could even take and after you add your acid, you could even add things like fruit. If you have like maybe some mangoes and you want to make a mango vinaigrette or strawberry vinaigrette or whatever, you can take all those things and add them to the base. And either if you're going to whisk it by hand or if you're going to put it in the blender and then just add the oil a little bit at a time. So just kind of, you know, some blenders have a little thing that you remove off the top. It's like a little plastic clear thing. That's kind of what that's for. So you can, you know, add things gradually and, you know, add your oil that way and you never have to worry about your emulsification breaking because the blender is going so fast. But for today's purposes, we're gonna show you with a whisk and let's get started. asparagus what is blanch and shock the blanching portion is the boiling water the shocking is we're going to shock it in ice and what that does is that preserves that green chlorophyll and so our asparagus stays vibrant green you can do that with broccoli or other um, green like fruits vegetables whatever spinach is another great one to kind of preserve have that you know bright green color if you're trying to like say color a soup or you know make a, some food coloring but anyway I'm rabbit hole. So we're going to take and blanch and shock our asparagus. We're going to take the end of the asparagus. We're going to do just kind of bend it a little bit. Wherever it snaps, that's where the most tender part of the asparagus or where it begins to, to be tender. And that'll give us a good indication of where to cut for the rest of them. And we're going to actually, I usually prefer to take about maybe half an inch back that other direction. So we're going to take and we're going to use this as our guide. And then we're going to cut, like I said, just a little bit more closer to the Part that we're going to throw away and then we're going to discard that and then I'm going to cut this into about four or five pieces and then I'm going to throw it in the boiling water and after that we're going to dump out the water and throw them into the ice.
now we just mix everything together. We have our pasta here that's already pre-cooked. Just follow the directions on the box. And this is whole wheat, so maybe it, if you you know if you would like a little bit softer pasta, you might want to cook it just a little bit longer. Whole wheat usually tends to need a little bit more uh, time to cook. So there's our pasta, our blanche and shocked asparagus, and then our other ingredients, which is our artichokes, tomatoes, and cotija cheese, and then our vinaigrette that we made previously is right here. And we're gonna just literally take it and mix them all together, stir them up, and serve them. This is a great recipe to make ahead of time. You know, you can serve it immediately, or you can do it the night before if you're taking going out to the barbecue or whatever. taste it. Moment of truth. Uh -huh. Gordon Ramsay over here. <laughs> I'll be the judge here. Mm. It's really good and light and fresh. This would be awesome in the summer on a hot day. With this recipe, I like to make it ahead of time like for dinner with something I've grilled like chicken or salmon or something as a side dish and then the next day it's really great for lunch and you could just add a can of like garbanzo beans to it stir those in or maybe like a can of um, some chopped up salmon or a leftover salmon even from dinner yeah. can of tuna or a packet of tuna and stir that in with there you'd have a whole meal and you wouldn't have to heat up your kitchen or um, do any work you could just have a full lunch it's got vegetables it's got our whole grain and it has some dairy with the cheese in there so if you added a protein that'd be a definitely a complete balanced lunch for sure and the longer this sits the better it tastes not to exceed seven days <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no the longer it sits the better it'll taste so the flavors will all blend together and get nice and incorporated. I agree. Yeah. All right. Let us know if you try this at home. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And the recipe will be below the video. Thank you, guys.